One of the things we hear from people after they have completed their profile, they're not really sure what to do next. And once you've done your profile, you're gonna get exited out to this pin view. So let's just start with the different ways of looking at data and what does this all mean? So uh, your pin is at the center of the universe. So this is how people see you. If you click on it, it's going to uh, come up with all of the words that you selected. You can see the talk to me about words. You can see all your words there, all of your contact information. However, you're gonna wanna be looking at other people. So the different pin colors equal the different uh, pin types. So you would have set this up when you first uh, set up your profile and you can turn these on and off. So you can, you can set, if you say, I just wanna look at teachers, then you can just look at teachers. So that's very, very easy to do. But what you might wanna do is you might wanna just start rolling over some pins and exploring. So I, the pins that are closest to me are pins that I have something in common with. And the pins are placed in these various quadrants based on me having more things in common in that area. So all of these pins over here, I have interests and activities in common. So let's take and look at one of these pins that's right next to me. There's uh, Juan Pablo. And if I bring, um, he says, uh, this is great. He says, talk to me about astronomy, robotics, and science. And I see all of the words that he has selected. And I look at the contact information. He's from Columbia. I hear it's his blog. There's his Twitter account. I can see some more information about him. He's a, he looks like he runs an educational uh, project. But look at how much information we learn very, very quickly. Now, if I want to send him a message, I just click the Send Message button. And that's going to bring up a little interface. And I can type in a subject. I can even create a short little video uh, to send him as well. So the first thing you do is you probably want to go around and just investigate, see who's close to you. Now, you may not want to just roll over all the pins, so another way to look at this is called the list view. So you click this, this is under the connections area. So here are my matches in ranked order, meaning the people that have the most in common with me. And you can just go through the pages just like this, and this is just going to sort out all of uh, those people, just like that, very, very easily. And then you can also look at them on the map. So now by clicking the map view, you can see there's lots of people in the United States and actually lots in India, actually people all over the world uh, here in the network. And I can also then search. So you might, let's say that um, in, you filled out your profile and you are a uh, biology teacher and you'd like to find other biology teachers and you're in middle school. So you're gonna select grade five through eight and then we're gonna come down through the list. You remember doing this during your profile. And I'm gonna hold the command key down and select biology. And uh, I'm then maybe going to uh, just hit apply. Let's see what we find. So these are all the middle school biology teachers in the network. And this is just a great way to just get familiar with how to do the searching. Now notice up here at the top, it says there were 184 out of a uh, little more than 7,000. And uh, if I go back to my pin view, uh, again, I'm gonna be able to see those teachers very, very quickly. So that's a simple thing to do. Now the other thing you might want to, that's investigating people. The other thing you wanna do is you wanna investigate the groups. So groups are where there are special interest groups. And uh, I've got, you could see a list here of um, all the different types of groups. If you can make this a little bit wider if you like. So all of the groups, if you select all the groups, you're gonna see there's 250 different groups. So you can go through there and look, and let's just stay on biology. I'm curious, let's see if there's any groups that have the word biology in them. You just type in search, and there we go. There's a group that actually has the title biology right into the description and that's how you would find that group. So I'll let you go and explore that a little bit. There are also our forums. So the same thing with forums, where you have forums that you're subscribed to. So these are ones that says subscription. So these are all ones that I'm following. And then there are global forums. So these are for all teachers. And what I can do, I can also search here. So let's search for the word Mars. And this is going to show me um, 
all of the forum discussions that have the term Mars in that. And then I can see there's, there's just very many pages of these, just pages and pages and pages of information. So if I want to read one of these, I just click it. Then we'll just click one of these up. It's going to load that forum post up. I can read that. That's of interest. I could see all of this information. This is fantastic, actually. And uh, from there, I can also see there's a little handout. If I want to uh, download that, I just click it. If I want to reply, I just click the reply button. Very, very easy. And the last thing you want to explore is the resources area. And resources, the same thing. All of the groups have resources. So if we go and we, let's stay on Mars, we type in the word Mars, we're going to see resources available to you that have the word Mars in them. So here's like a, um, an Earth science uh, resource. And notice that we can see there's a lot of material that I can just, again, I can just click and download it. There's some links to go to. And so let, I'm going to leave you with the dashboard because the second time you log in, you're going to see this dashboard. And this is where you can, you'll find forums, groups, resources. And you can change this and configure it to whatever you're most interested in. So if you want to see you know, what the most popular posts are, you can just click that. It's going to sort through the system, and you can see that very easy. I like to see who's just joined so I can uh, see new people. There's, there are new people joining every day. So this is your now what. Now what do you do after you've built your profile? Go in and explore a little bit. And at any time, if you need help, just come down here and click the Contact Us button. Send us a note. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks a lot.